here are a few things that I've done and added to my Apple Hockey game to really enhance my Apple Hockey experience. This is a great game and I love it even more with the things I've added. Um, I had a game mat I designed in Photoshop. I had it printed by Inked Gaming on an, a rubber backed cloth fronted almost like a really high quality mouse pad. Um, and on this I've uh, sized the spaces for uh, the Apple cards to go into. Um, it uses the, the normal chits I've used. I like the the, uh, the graphical representation of a, a time clock. It, it uh, really enhances my gameplay. Um, I had really enjoyed the inclusion of the game charts uh, on cards, the quick reference cards. So I found I was playing an advanced rule or an optional rule of block shots and I found that this uh, I made a photocopy on cardstock and I laminated it uh, the block shots chart just for quick reference and that really enhances it. Along with the block shot, I photocopied and laminated on cardstock the four check chart, the goalie action chart, and flip it over the other side, the offensive defensive zone face off chart and long pass charts with the wide shot charts, the special team charts, the pulled goalie charts, the tip ins and rebound charts, uh, the face off chart is already down there. Um, and these I find really increase the speed of play. Um, just having these instead of having to flip through the book. Another thing I did uh, along with creating the board with the, the time clock on the side so it doesn't have to be on the sheet, I created my own uh, score sheet in, in Excel um, where I can list the, the lines I have, quick reference of the uh, defensive ratings, their bench minor ratings, their team ratings up top here. Um, it collects the stats that I, I like to collect. Um, and uh, I can print it out. It's double-sided, so I print out the score there, plus a uh, game summary where I can put the penalties and the uh, goals and the minute and time of the, that they happened. Um, plus, I also uh, created the, uh, recreated the, the uh, chart for the timing chart that's in the book on the back, so I don't have to keep flipping to that. And I have my three stars of my game. Um, I also made a puck out of a wooden dowel. I just cut a wooden dowel uh, and painted it with my daughter's uh, chalk paint to make it look like a puck. And I used that as a, the puck marker instead of one of the purple markers. Since I use the game reference cards so frequently, uh, I wanted to protect them. So I bought uh, plastic, clear plastic sleeves uh, that I got from my local game store. Um, they're from Fantasy Flight. Um, they are clear cards sleeves. Uh, they come in a pack of 15. Now they do have, they are color coded. These are the gray, white. Um, there's purple ones, yellow ones. They're all different for different types of cards. Um, but these are standard, or the Apple cards are standard playing card size and these sleeves fit perfectly. I store my Apple card collection in plastic uh, shoebox containers I bought from Solutions. Um, they fit uh, one entire season of baseball or football or hockey um, and here I've got my uh, baseball and my 2017-2018 uh, hockey team. Um, they measure 20 centimeters by 33 centimeters by 12 centimeters or uh, 13 and a half inches by 8 inches by 4 and a half inches. One thing about those plastic bins is they do stack very nicely.